This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. A vast range of fauna inhabit the world of Avatar. You may recall in our recent video about water tribe animals, some of our descriptions were disappointing. Here at the Amagi, we seek to inform. We've read your comments and we know how important these creatures are to you, whether they're entirely fictional or found in the real world. We know how much you look forward to videos on this topic, and I've been assured that each animal on this list will be handled with a respect for knowledge that Wan Shitong could appreciate. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over 21 Earth Kingdom animals. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Badger Mole The Badger Mole is an enormous blind mammal native to the Earth Kingdom. Primarily subterranean creatures, badger moles were the first to master earthbending and the original instructors from which humans first learned the art. The badger moles first taught earthbending to Oma and Shu, helping them to create a maze of tunnels through the mountains dividing their two villages. Many centuries later, they were encountered by Toph Bei Fong in a cave after she ran away from home as a child. Given their shared blindness, they were able to understand each other and help the young girl to develop her skill in the bending art. According to Toph, the badger mole's earthbending was an extension of their senses and their way of interacting with the world, and she learned from them by copying their movements as they navigated the tunnels. Several years later, Team Avatar and a group of nomads they were traveling with got lost in the passages under the Kolau Mountains, due to the badger moles changing the layout of the underground network with their earthbending. The badger moles eventually encountered some of the group and reacted to their appearance aggressively. They were ultimately pacified, however, after the nomads serenaded them with music and allowed the travelers to ride them out the other side of the cave. In Earth Rumble, an underground earthbending tournament held in a giant earthen arena in Gaoling, badger moles were used to clear the ring of rocks. In 174 AG, when Kuvira invaded Republic City, two badger moles at the city zoo were freed by Prince Wu, who guided them with his singing toward Central City Station. Ordered by song, the badger moles started to tunnel underneath the city and took down three mecha suits of the military of the Earth Empire when they threatened Prince Wu and several evacuees. Ant Small insect that lives in large colonies. Okay, guys, this is number two in the list and you're already doing this to me. Come on. Bear Large, brown, non-hybrid mammal known to hibernate. Extremely rare and they're not even going to mention Bosco. I love the scene where the Earth King invites them to the party, and, uh, and they're reading the invitation. It says, meet the bear, and they're all like, what, a, a, a platypus bear? Or what, what kind of bear? And, and it's just a bear. And you could just see this look in their eyes. They're like, okay, Google, how to bear? And uh, it's just hilarious. And Bosco's awesome. Beetle worm. Worm and beetle hybrid that is occasionally used as an ingredient in soup. Borcupine. The borcupine is a relatively large creature that inhabits many regions of the planet. A borcupine once chased Momo through a marketplace in an attempt to take the food Momo had stolen. While seeking shelter when he was lost, Appa encountered a borcupine in the Earth Kingdom. The borcupine immediately attacked the flying bison when it landed in its territory. The two began to fight, and after rolling down a cliff, the borcupine stood the victor. Appa, although severely injured, rose to continue the fight, eventually gaining the upper hand. The borcupine was thrown through the trees to the ground before it got up to flee. Having escaped Ba Sing Se after Azula's coup, Sokka attempted to teach Bosco how to be a real bear and survive in the wild. In an effort to show the bear how important it was to find shelter, he entered a cave, though it was immediately chased out of it again by a wild borcupine. During Team Avatar's stay at the Black Cliffs, Toph used her earthbending to launch a baby borcupine toward her and land in her hand, unsuccessfully suggesting that Aang try acupuncture as a means to rid him of his worries and fears. Cabbage Slug The cabbage slug is a tiny brown and white creature that can reproduce very quickly, and a group of these animals is capable of destroying entire cabbage patches in less than a week. This pest is sometimes hard to spot as it burrows deep into cabbages and eats them from the inside out. By the time its presence is realized, it is often too late to salvage the vegetation. As a result, a single cabbage slug could destroy an entire ecosystem. One of these creatures had nested itself in the cabbages that the cabbage merchant intended on ferrying over to Ba Sing Se to trade. However, the passport attendant of Full Moon Bay, 
denied the crops as a precautionary measure, knowing they may be infested with more cabbage slugs. She subsequently ordered for them to be disposed of, feeding the produce to a platypus bear. Her decision was justified when a cabbage slug was released from one of the destroyed cabbages. Camelephant. The camelephant is a large chimerical animal that is an ideal mode of transportation in arid and dry climates. It is also a common attraction in circuses and used for entertainment purposes. Canyon Crawler The canyon crawler is a large animal found in the Western Earth Kingdom, and more commonly the Great Divide. Its many sensitive nostrils provide a sharp sense of smell for hunting, and its powerful jaws allow it to quickly kill its prey. Food brought into the gorge often attracts these creatures, which are known to scale the sides of the canyon in search of prey. While making their way through the Great Divide, Team Avatar, along with the Ganjin and Zhang tribes, encountered a canyon crawler that attacked their canyon guide. Aang managed to subdue the beast with his airbending, which caused it to flee. However, the assault had broken the canyon guide's arms, temporarily preventing him from earthbending. After making their way to the other side of the canyon, they discovered that each tribe had brought food along with them, which soon caught the attention of many canyon crawlers that quickly overwhelmed the group. However, by working together, the group managed to muzzle the creatures with the bags in which they had stored their food. They mounted the crawlers and tricked them to climb the steep canyon wall by dangling food in front of them. Once at the top, they released the creatures which immediately followed the food back down into the canyon. Cat. The cat is a non-hybrid mammal that inhabits the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nation. It's most commonly kept by people as a pet. Herbalist Pan of Taku carried his pet cat in his arms while attending the conclave of Earth Kingdom sages in 296 BG. When Aang, Katara, and Sokka visited Omashu to do some sightseeing, the Avatar brought his friends on a ride down the city's delivery system. After the cart had fallen off the rails and ruined countless buildings, a bearded cat jumped onto Aang's wig, which he had been using as a disguise, where the animal encountered Momo. The two animals fought with each other for a moment before the lemur pushed it out of the cart. Aang later met another cat named Miyuki, who is owned by an herbalist in the city of Taku, and who is boasted by her owner to have grown to 97 in human years. Miyuki was alongside the herbalist when Zuko, Iroh, and Jun were led to the institute by Nyla, Jun's Shershu. Fluffykins was a cat who resided in Ba Sing Se with a family. When Aang created a new zoo with his bending to replace the old inhospitable one, Kenji, the zookeeper, complimented the avatar on his accomplishment and suggested that he make a career for himself working with animals. Kenji quickly retracted this opinion, however, when he overheard a few people, including Fluffykins' owners, finding their pets who had been mistakenly put in the zoo as well. There was also a chubby white cat standing behind Fluffykins and next to a brown furred dog, but it went unnamed. In the Fire Nation, a cat stood and watched a woman hang her laundry on a clothesline. Chameleon Small, color-changing lizard with yellow eyes and a crest on its head. I'm gonna let that one slide. Chicken Flightless bird bred for meat and eggs. Come on, we were doing so good. What, what is this? Uh, we, do we at least have a picture of Team Avatar with a chicken, I hope? Crococat. The crococat is a hybridized creature that can be domesticated and kept as a pet in the Earth Kingdom. Deer dog. A deer dog is a chimerical mammal that is kept as a pet in the desert climate of the Misty Palms Oasis. One of these dogs was leisurely sitting on the porch of a house when Mako and Bolin ran past in an attempt to lose Macau and Lily. Dog. A dog is a non-hybrid canine that inhabits the Earth Kingdom. Dogs are tameable and come in multiple breeds. While taking a vacation at the Misty Palms Oasis, Team Avatar found a dog licking the deteriorated iceberg. Sometime later, a dog and its owners were at Full Moon Bay, awaiting transportation to Ba Sing Se. When Avatar Aang reconstructed the zoo outside the city walls, he used his bison whistle to call for the zoo animals, but accidentally also called in multiple domesticated creatures, among them a dog, which ended up in an elephant mandrel's pen. Elephant Large terrestrial mammal known for its oversized ears. And maybe its trunk too? Come on guys, we gotta at least try. Elephant Mandrill the elephant mandrill is a chimerical creature found in the Earth Kingdom. One of these creatures was held in captivity in the Ba Sing Se Zoo, which was run by Kenji. While staying in Ba Sing Se, Aang found a gloomy and desolated zoo where all the animals were kept in small cages. One of the present beasts was an elephant mandrill who lay in a pen that was too small for his size. Upon deciding to help the animals, Aang released all the creatures in order to guide them to a larger facility 
in the agrarian zone of the city. However, upon being freed, the elephant mandrill rampaged through the streets of Ba Sing Se, scaring a number of civilians. The animal was out of control until it heard the signal of Aang's bison whistle and followed the sound outside the city's wall, where it ended up in a larger and greener pen in the newly created zoo. Elephant Rat The elephant rat is a small rodent found throughout the world. Typically residing in urban environments, the elephant rat frequently searches for food in old, rundown areas. During her time in a Fire Nation prison, Hama used elephant rats in her development and practice of bloodbending. In 100 AG, Aang was imprisoned in Chin Village for Avatar Kyoshi's alleged murder of Chin the Conqueror. While in his jail cell, he saw an elephant rat grab an acorn on the ground before scampering off. In 174 AG, Batar Jr. claimed that Varric was crazier than a sewer pipe elephant rat. Fire Ferret The Fire Ferret is an arboreal mammal indigenous to the bamboo forests of the Central Earth Kingdom. It can be domesticated and kept as a pet. Fox Antelope The Fox Antelope is an animal indigenous to the Earth Kingdom, specifically the agrarian zone of Ba Sing Se. Gemsbok Bull The Gemsbok Bull is an ungulate with the stocky frame of a domestic bull. It is a hybrid of a bull and a Gemsbok. A group of Gemsbok bulls lived at the Ba Sing Se Zoo with various other fauna, visibly despondent over the poor living conditions that the facility provided. Aang came across the zoo during his stay in Ba Sing Se and decided to help the zookeeper Kenji establish a new and more expansive zoo in the agrarian zone. Aang used his bison whistle to lure the bulls, along with the other animals from the zoo to the agrarian zone, where he created new habitats for them with his earthbending. You know, Maybe it would have been more efficient to tell the story about Aang relocating the zoo once. And finally, number 21, Giant Nightcrawler. Uh, giant Worm. Guys, you're seriously going to make me end it like this? Well, did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.